Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Okay, so please excuse the messy hair and the fact that I'm in my robe, but my makeup is done, so that's good. Um, my plans kind of changed today, so I got ready pretty early, and then, yeah, my plans changed, but it's okay, because now I'm makeup ready, and I'm ready for whatever the day has to throw my way. So um, so yeah, like I said, today is Friday, and I just have a bunch of stuff to do today. Like, I just have to catch up on a bunch of stuff, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and answer my emails, um, and I have a couple messages I have to answer on social media, so I'm gonna do that. That's always, like, one of the first things I do, um, during the day. It's 9.40 in the morning, so it's still... Early on in the day, I have plenty of time to get all my stuff done. I do think I may have to run to Walmart today to pick up some lashes because, come to think of it, I don't think I have a lot of natural lashes left and I have three clients tonight, so I'm like, and I, I don't think they're going to want like super dramatic lashes, so I may have to go run and get like more natural lashes. We'll see though. We'll see what I have. I have to have lashes somewhere. I'm sure I do. I mean, I'm... Hopefully I don't have to run to Walmart because I hate having to go to Walmart just for lashes because the Walmart is like 15 minutes away. It's like a whole process, okay? So hopefully I don't have to go. But one of the things that I want to do today is I actually want to reorganize my kit. Again, that is something that I'm always doing. I'm always reorganizing my kit. Um, and now that it is the new year, I want to reorganize it again. And I want to kind of consolidate my products and like move some stuff around and maybe take away one of the things that I've been using um because that suitcase that I'm using is just getting really heavy again and that's what happens I reorganize and then it just starts to get really heavy again and then I'll reorganize and then it's like great and then it starts to get heavy again so it's time to kind of consolidate and get rid of some stuff and yeah I think after I answer my emails that is what I'm gonna do so I will kind of show you guys what um, and how I'm going to reorganize. I do need to place an order as well on Namie's because I have some stuff in my basket. Some stuff for the new year, um, new products and stuff. Um, it's been literally sitting in my basket for weeks. And I also have some stuff, um, just like two things on Friends Beauty and two things I want from Ulta. So... I need to place those orders because one of those orders has brush cleaner in it and I desperately need like a big thing of brush cleaner because I go through brush cleaner like water. So I'm rambling. So let me just get to these emails real quick and then we'll get to the kit and see what else this day has to offer. I did want to give a little shout out to, oh my God, did you see my Christmas socks? <laughs> to Benefit. Um, the box is empty now because I put everything away, but they did send me a um, box of all their brow products and they're having a competition. Um, the Benefit Brow Arch Outlaws search. I can't talk. The Brow arch outlaws search <laughs> with benefits and um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to participate in it because the first day if you make it as a final um if you make it into the finals the first day is um on a day that i have a wedding so i don't know if i'd be able to do it but i am so thankful that they sent this to me and i will show you guys what they sent in here please don't mind like look I just have like money out like I'm a mess um, but anyways this is like my brow section they sent me the benefit brow 24-hour setter which is amazing brow powder the high brow um, precisely my brow the which one is this one this is the goof proof pencil they sent me give me brow they sent Cabrow, which is their brow pomade. So I am set in the brow department. So what a shout out to Benefit. Thank you so much. And yeah, so this is my freelance stuff. It's just a mess right now. So 
I need to start reorganizing. Okay, so this is the first thing I'm going to be organizing. This is a mess right now because um, everything fell over when I was carrying it. So, yeah, but this is my foundations and skincare section. And I'm going to be reorganizing this and just taking out the foundations that I don't want. I'm actually going to be transferring these NARS ones into some little bottles like this. So, um... That is what I'm going to do in here. These are all my concealers. So, yeah, this is what we're going to be organizing now. So, one of the things that I absolutely love and has been a lifesaver with reorganizing my kit over the last, like, six months is this, um... Oh, it's, like, coming undone on the bottom. Wait. Let me fix that. Um, this label maker has been like the best thing ever. So basically I just use it to label my products. Like this is for the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, the liquid version. And as you can see, I just put a label on it and it just keeps me really organized and I just love it. So as much as I love these sleek bottles of the NARS foundation, they weigh a lot. Um, and I have four shades of these. Oh my god. <laughs> so to lighten up the load a little bit in here, I'm going to be transferring the foundations to these little guys here. Um, and I get these on Amazon. They are just like you just open them up and squirt the foundation out. And it honestly, it's just so easy. And these weigh like nothing. So I'm going to be transferring these. Um, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've been really liking this for clients that want more of a full coverage look but don't want to be super duper um, matte. Like this does have more of a luminous finish. So this is great. And yeah, I'm just going to squirt this. This is the shade Fiji. And I'm just going to start squirting it into the bottle. And I have a funnel here. And I'm going to use this funnel to get the foundation to really empty out in there. Honestly, this is a little time consuming, but it is so worth it when you do this, in my opinion. Like, I feel like ever since I've transferred these in, like, I just feel like my foundations don't take up as much room in my kit. It's more lightweight, and I just, I don't know, I prefer it this way, but, you know, it is a little time consuming. Okay, so we organized this. It literally took... Uh, I don't know you guys I do have like a little bit of OCD um, and I can say that because I actually used to have OCD and <laughs> that could be in a whole other video um, not a lot of people know that about me but when I start to organize I get very obsessive and something that probably takes the average person like 20 minutes to organize literally takes me like two hours so this just took forever but I reorganized everything and I ended up putting my powders in here so over here we have my foundations um I depotted some of my well not depotted but I just put some of my foundations in these bottles um and just kind of got rid of other old foundations um so I have NARS here I have three NARS um foundations the long wear radiant long wear foundations I have L4, L, M4, and L5. Those have been like my most used and Stromboli. But now that it's winter, I'm not using Stromboli as much. This is like the perfect color if someone has like a nice tan or a spray tan. Um, but I just kept this one in here because I've already used a lot of it out of the bottle. So I was like, there's no point in me transferring it into one of these things. Um, and then I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations here. I have MAC Studio Fix, so like anything with the blue top is MAC Studio Fix. So this is perfect for someone that wants like a long-wearing, more matte foundation. Um, the NARS is good for someone that wants full coverage, but 
maybe doesn't want this super matte look because it is more radiant, this one. And this one is definitely more on the lighter side of coverage, the Makeup Forever one. And then I have three of the Juvia's Place Magic Foundations. I only carry three shades. One of them um, I could even use to like contour if I wanted to, but this stuff is just really good if someone really needs a lot of coverage, if they have a lot of acne or something. Um, this like really covers everything and it's also very matte. I have the Face Atelier Foundations, which I'm actually going to be getting rid of two of the shades, but I'm just going to use them up. And then I'm only going to carry the lightest shade, four and six, because four and six are my most used colors, but if I need to lighten them up a little bit, I can use the 0.5 shade. Um, I have this like liquid glow if I want to add this to the foundations. And then back here, I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD palettes. I have um, some depotted Ultra HD stick foundations as well. So, and then I have Era Beauty spray foundation. Um, I don't use this that often. Um, I've used it a couple times and it was pretty. I just, I'm not like in love with it yet. I just really haven't used it too much. Here I have my powders. So, um, let me actually turn this one around. So here I have my powders. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me powders. These are the loose versions. These are amazing. Uh, I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. I have the two Charlotte Tilbury Flawless airbrush um, powders. I have, this is a Kat Von D powder. This is the deep powder by Lorac. It's their baked powder. And then I also have the light color of that. And then I have some MAC MSFs here. Back here I have blush palette. This is my Morphe blush palette. I'm obsessed with this thing. I also have MAC highlight and contour palettes. And then I have some highlighters. So I have an Inglot loose powder, Laura Mercier glow powder, another loose powder, the Dior backstage highlighting palettes. This is a um, product by MAC you can mix in with your foundation to make it more glowy. And then I have the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder. And then I have all my concealers. So that is what this thing looks like. It's really, I'm liking this. I'm liking how the foundations, powders, and concealers are all together. That makes me really happy. Okay, so right now I'm organizing this thing here, and this is basically a smaller version of the thing that I just showed you guys. Um, I've gotten all of these like makeup organizers on Amazon. Amazon is like my go-to with any kind of makeup organization. You can literally find anything. So in here I have brows, eyes, um, like eye pigments and stuff, and then I have primers um, for eyes. So, honestly, this is like a pretty big thing just to have brows and all of that in here. So, I'm trying to figure out the best way to organize this thing and make it like a little bit more useful. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I want to use this. Like, here's all my disposables. Should I just like put this in here? Like, I don't know. So this is how I ended up organizing this little guy. Um, I ended up putting my disposables in here because it was just like a perfect little compartment. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but if it's... Um, and then I have pigments and like loose eyeshadows here. I have eye primers and stuff here. Gel liners and all of that. I have... Oh, that's just like a random lash, but brow stuff here. Um, and just a translucent powder if I want to set the primer, which I don't really do anymore, but I just have it in case. Um, and then I have lash glue, mascara, and all that. Eyeliners. And then I have in here. Let's hold on. Let's see. Then I have lashes in there. So that is how I organized this guy here. I don't know, I think, it's a, I think it's a nice setup. This is what I used to have my powders in, by the way, my face powders that I ended up putting in that thing. Um, I used to carry them in here, and although I love this thing, it was just an extra 
thing like I have this I have that I have more stuff in there so it's just like another thing I needed to set up so that's why I consolidated my stuff and got it all in this thing because now I don't need to carry this around and as as great as it was like I said it was just another thing that I had to take out of the bag it was another thing that took up space in there so we're not going to use that I'm actually probably going to use this for myself when I travel um, I think that would be a good idea, but unfortunately, our time is done with this guy. So I'm not sure, but I think I'm like pretty much done. I mean, I think, I don't know. So I may change my mind, but this is how I have it as of now. This is where I had all my eyes, um, stuff, brows and all of that, lashes, um, here I'm keeping my skincare and primers for the face. Back here I have my brushes, um, and more brushes here. I have all, like, face setting sprays and any kind of spray in there. Um, in here I have brush cleaning wipes, um, by a brand called Artiste. I have this little pouch here because when I do brides, I give them a thank you card and a little sample of their lipstick usually, so I'll just kind of keep that in there. Here we have mints. Ladies, do yourself a favor. If you're a makeup artist and you're in people's face, please have mints on you because no one wants to smell your breath. Flip that over, and I actually think I'm going to keep my stand for my light in here. I'm not totally sure, but it does fit in, like, I had extra room, so I was kind of like, why not? But I just hope I'm not going to, like, ruin it or break it by having it here. Like, I don't think so, right? I don't think I will. I don't know. I But I it fits, so I thought, why not? Here I have lipsticks. I think, I'm not totally sure, but I may keep lip liners in here. I need to, I need to figure it out. It has a top but I don't have the top on. I don't know. I kind of like having them like this. It's just like easier to see. Um, here I have all my palettes. So I have my shadow palettes. I have this highlighting palette. Um, also in here is a little pouch and I suggest if you're a makeup artist and you do a lot of weddings and you're on your feet for long hours and all that, have a little pouch like this and just fill it with a snack. So I have here, this is a 100 calorie pack of cashews, almonds, and dried cranberries. I also have some protein powder. So this is 10 grams of protein. It's a mixed berry flavor by Mio. And you just put this in a water bottle. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel super weak after being on my feet all day doing a large wedding party because I'm usually not eating or drinking. Um, just because I don't have time. So like having something like this for when you get in your car on your way home will help you feel so much better because I used to suffer with like headaches and just feeling like crap after weddings, but I've been trying to take care of myself more and making sure I drink more and all of that. So, but this is definitely helpful if you need a little something on your way home. I also have, these are soap sheets, so it's basically solidified soap, and you just take a sheet out and work it into wet hands, and so you can wash your hands with this, or even wash your beauty blenders with this. Um, what else is in here? Oh, this is great too. So this is a hydration multiplier. So one of these packets is equivalent to three water bottles. So again, if you're somebody that doesn't drink water while you're doing a wedding, drink this afterwards and you're going to feel so much better because you're going to feel hydrated again. I also have Advil in here because sometimes I need that. I also have business cards, which I'm actually, I don't know. I think I'm going to move these business cards to no not in there actually I'm just gonna stick the business cards in this pouch um yeah that's pretty much what's in here but honestly I should definitely suggest having a pouch like this where you just keep you know something to drink um you know something to eat these soap sheets are great. I got them on shopmissa.com. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna what the kit's gonna be like. It may be a little bit different, but this is my reorganized kit, and I did get rid of quite a few things, so it should be a little bit lighter, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but yeah. 
So I just got ready for my clients. Um, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm just wearing this. So I'm just wearing this like white, I mean white, black um, turtleneck like sweater thing. It has like your shoulders and elbows out. Um, these mom jeans are from Fashion Nova. Okay, I'm, this is like not a flattering angle for me. Um, and then I just have on some combat boots from Steve Madden. I could be wrong. I don't remember. I think they're Steve Madden. But yeah, just really simple. Um, just gonna go. So I have to leave here in about, mm, what time is it? It's 4.08, so I have to leave here. I should be out of here by, I can't think, 4.30? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave by 4.30, so I have to load up my car. Um, I have three clients to do tonight. I don't know if I've explained this, but the one client is actually someone that I work with from time to time. She's a bridal hair, stylist and I refer her and she kind of refers me for makeup so we work together a lot and her friends reached out and today's her birthday so they wanted to surprise her and they're all gonna get their makeup done and then take her out so I'm excited it should be fun especially since it's kind of a surprise for her but yeah we just have my kit ready to go here um actually I just remembered I need my light this is, I need this. This is the top to my light. Um, yeah, this is what I'm bringing with me. Honestly, I could have put everything into like a smaller kit. Like I have a different one that I use if I only have like one client. But I just didn't feel like transferring everything. And since I just reorganized my kit today, I didn't want to take anything out. So I just, I'm going to keep it like this. Um, it's more, way more makeup than I need just for four people. But what are you going to do? 